It's going to be a great night of comedy, everybody. Uh, I used to drink a lot, actually. I used to drink so much that I got dehydrated, and I, and I actually got a kidney stone at one point, which is the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. And doctors will tell you there's only three things I can compare to that kind of pain. Childbirth, appendicitis, and a live concert of Michael Bolton. Sometimes I tell that joke and I'll get nothing because I'll get a whole group of Michael Bolton fans, but I don't care, I'll tell the joke anyway. I'm not afraid of getting my ass kicked after the show because they're Michael Bolton fans. So, it's great that you guys are here. I'm, uh, I'm from the Midwest originally, but I'm living in Sacramento right now. Uh, any any sac, sac town in the house? I am, I've been there for about three years. First time I was walking around downtown, I come across this real punk looking guy, right? Like dark spiked hair, had like three, four spikes in a row. And uh, I passed by him, I'm like, hey, cool hair, man. He goes, thanks. I was like, you got like a, like a Statue of Liberty thing going on there. And he turns to me and he goes, who? <laughs> I said, y you know, the, the Statue of Liberty. And he's like, oh, right, right. Hey, um, uh, are they any good? So I was like, I was trying to think, what's the name of that monument near Manhattan of the, you know, the lady holding the thing? Like, for the life of me, I couldn't think of the name. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's the, um, the, uh, the torch bitch. <laughs> torch bitch. God bless America is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I was reading it out. In Sacramento, they now have a female priest. And altar boys all over the area were like, finally! <laughs> Salvation. We have a lot of relationships around here, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of dates, a lot of girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Clap if you're. Sorry. She's like clap, damn it. Uh, that's I, I was in. Um, I was dating this girl about a year ago, and all, all the, the only thing I can say is make sure you like the same kind of movies, because uh, like this girl I was dating, she was really into the scary movies. And uh, you know, she was, it was uh, Hostel Part Two was coming out at the time. She's like, oh, I really want to see Hostel Part Two. It looks really bloody and disturbing and, and scary, yeah. And, uh, and I wanted to see Shrek the Third, you know. I don't think it was meant to be. And that girl, she hated board games. Like, how can you hate board games? Like I grew up with board games, right? I was playing a few days ago, I was playing uh, Monopoly, which, you know. But, but this is the thing, never play Monopoly with someone who's actually bankrupt. It's so depressing. They're like, damn it, can't even manage my finances with a freaking board game. You know? I like to have a little fun with them. I make my own community chess cards, you know, so they'll pick up a card and I'll say something like, um, be like, it says here, uh, it says here that I owe the bank $200 because I suck at life. <laughs> I'm like, don't look at me, it's Park Brothers. You know, it says around the box, Monopoly, uh, East Oakland edition. <laughs> so uh, I talk a lot about music with some other comics, and our feeling is not that the music has gotten uh, worse over the years, but it's gotten less original. Like you have that uh, Gwen Stefani song that they have uh, bits of the, the theme to the sound of music in it. And there's that Sean Kingston song, you know what I'm talking about? A Be Beautiful Girl, which is basically Stand By Me. I'm like, you can't do that. But they're like, oh, we we're just sampling the sound of music. We we're just sampling Stand By Me. I'm like, you know, when I download music from the internet, I'm not stealing, I'm sampling. So when the FBI comes to my door and I'm like, I wasn't hacking files on the computer, I was just sampling. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna take me to prison where some big man named Bubba's gonna sample my asshole. 